Scleroderma. If you regularly go grocery shopping and buy plastic bottled water, you should be familiar with how they're normally tightly packed together in a transparent covering. Well, this is exactly what a condition known as scleroderma does to your skin. It makes your skin so tight, like your body suddenly decided to vacuum seal itself from the inside out. This condition occurs because your body starts pumping out excessive collagen, which is the protein responsible for keeping your skin fresh and improving skin elasticity. However, when the collagen becomes comes too much, your internal factory starts mass-producing skin tighteners instead of natural skin moisturizers. Aside from the fact that your skin would start to feel as tight as your jeans after Thanksgiving dinner, your fingers and joints would also become stiffer than your grandpa's old rocking chair. In addition to this, you'd experience heartburn so intense that you'd feel like you swallowed a flamethrower. This autoimmune condition that makes you feel like a human vacuum-packed snack affects about 300,000 Americans, and sadly, there is currently no cure for it. Sjogren's Syndrome Sjogren's Syndrome is like entering a contest you never signed up for where the ultimate prize is feeling thirsty all the time and needing more eye drops than a desert dweller needs water. You see, Sjogren syndrome causes your immune system to attack your body's cells, which produce the glands that make saliva and tears. As a result, your mouth becomes drier than the Sahara Desert and your eyes feel like they've been replaced with sandpaper because anytime you blink, it feels like you've got sand in them. You'd also experience intense fatigue, dry skin, cough, and swollen lymph nodes. The craziest part is that there is no cure for this condition, and your symptoms can only be managed with eye drops, a saliva production stimulator, and sometimes surgery to support the damaged glands. Now, if you refuse to use the eye drops or saliva stimulators, your joints, liver, kidney, and thyroid will join the dry land parade, and eventually, your body and all your organs will lose all forms of water. And when it gets to this stage, all you can really do is just get as comfortable as you can because you'll soon be meeting your ancestors. Primary Progressive Aphasia, PPA. So, one minute you're having a great discussion with a group of friends and chatting away like a talk show host, and suddenly you can't seem to find the right words to describe a particular thing. It's like the words decided to play hide and seek inside your brain. So, to explain yourself better, you use your hands and body movement, but after a while, the words come back to you and you have the ultimate aha moment. Well, that is kind of what it's like to have primary progressive aphasia, except with PPA, you'd always find yourself stumbling over words like a rookie actor forgetting his lines. If you have this disorder, you will always have trouble expressing your thoughts and understanding or finding words. You would also find it very difficult to read or write, because even when your hand remembers to move, your brain's language center would literally switch off its button. Suddenly, your bookshelf looks less like a source of knowledge and more like a collection of unreadable code. PPA happens when certain areas known as lobes in your brain start to shrink due to a genetic mutation. This condition is rare and affects three to four people out of over 100,000, and the only way this condition can be managed is through speech therapy and learning alternative communication methods like sign language. Myasthenia gravis. It's another Saturday evening and you're at the gym trying to impress your crush with your mad bicep curls when your arms suddenly decide they've had enough and go on strike faster than a union worker who hasn't been paid for the last two months. Well, what is happening to you is most likely a condition called myasthenia gravis, which usually begins its opening act with intense weakness and rapid fatigue in your legs and arm muscles. This condition happens when there's a breakdown in communication between your nerves and muscle because of your antibodies. The body's defense team decided to go rogue and attack the normal muscle receptors. This attack blocks off the chemical needed to stimulate muscle contraction. Well, first you'll lose feeling in your legs and arms and experience symptoms like droopy eyelids, difficulty speaking, double vision, and shortness of breath. Even swallowing your saliva or water would make it feel like your throat is going through hell. Spinal Muscular Atrophy, SMA. Spinal muscular atrophy is a genetic condition that affects about 1 in 10,000 babies worldwide, making it rarer than a kid who loves eating their vegetables. If you're a baby with spinal muscular atrophy, you might be floppier than a raggedy doll, which would probably make your parents think that you're just really, really relaxed, but it's actually your muscles are just super lazy. Also, performing simple tasks like lifting your arm would feel like you're trying to lift an elephant. 
and even rolling over in bed would be as stressful as completing a cross-country marathon. This disorder affects motor neurons, which are nerve cells in the spinal cord that control voluntary muscle movement. When affected, the muscles cannot respond to the signals from the nerves, weakening and eventually shrinking from inactivity. As a result, you'd be unable to use your arms and legs as often as you should, making them start shrinking quickly. It'd look like your body decided to go on an extreme diet, but only told your muscles about it. Unfortunately, spinal muscular atrophy does not have a cure, so people with this condition will essentially live the rest of their lives connected to a breathing machine, feeding tubes, and wheelchairs. Marfan Syndrome being an awkward skinny teenager was definitely something everyone experienced. However, just imagine you woke up this morning to find that you've suddenly grown taller than even the tallest basketball players. Your arms are so long that you can tie your shoes without even bending over. You've basically experienced an overnight growth spurt that would make a giraffe feel short, but unfortunately this is not your average teenage growth. This is Marfan syndrome in action. Marfan syndrome is an inherited disorder that affects connective tissue, the fibers that support and anchor your organs and other structures. The condition would make the gene as stretchy as glue, and as a result, you'd become very tall and thin with unusually long arms, legs, fingers, and toes. Your chest would look a bit caved in or puffed out like someone that's constantly taking in huge breaths. While this doesn't sound so bad, the condition can also cause lens dislocation, which means the lenses in your eyes wouldn't be in the right position. This stretchy connective tissue can also make the walls of the aorta a big blood vessel, a bit too flexible, like a bouncy castle, and this results in your heart valves not opening and closing the way they're supposed to. In other words, you'll have a severe breathing problem. prader willi Syndrome, PWS. prader willi Syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that would turn your appetite into an all-you-can-eat buffet with no closing time. You'd always be hungry and on the hunt for your next meal, even if you just finished eating a feast that could feed an entire army. It's like your stomach is a bottomless pit, always on standby for more food. This happens when a part of chromosome 15 in your DNA passed down by your father gets deleted from when you were conceived. At just age two, you'd have an appetite that could rival any sumo wrestler, and you'd literally be able to sniff out food like a police dog with a scent. The worst part is, prader willi syndrome also makes your metabolism slower than a sloth on vacation which would essentially make you extremely obese, and yet you can't stop eating. Your body and muscles would be as soft as a huge cuddly bear because you'd have low muscle tone, plus you'd be shorter than all your friends because your body decided to trade height for an extra helping of appetite. Living with this condition would basically turn into a lifelong mission of trying to outsmart your appetite because you'll constantly need doctors, dietitians, and psychologists to help you manage your symptoms and live a happy, full life. Duquesne Muscular Dystrophy, DMD. So, you're a seven-year-old boy who dreams of becoming a strong superhero, but one day, while playing in your backyard, you notice something odd. You see, instead of getting stronger, you begin to find it very hard to do simple things you used to do easily. It's like your superpowers are coming in backward. You can't run after your friends, and climbing the stairs seems as difficult as climbing Mount Everest. When your parents finally get to the hospital, you're diagnosed with Duquesne muscular dystrophy after a series of tests. DMD is a rare genetic condition that that mostly targets 1 in 3,500 boys and happens because your genes lack a particular protein that's supposed to make your muscle cells strong and healthy. When this protein is absent, it results in fragile, damaged muscle cells that will progressively weaken and become soft like ice cream melting on a hot summer afternoon. Now, over the next few years, your entire body would just keep getting weaker and weaker, and by the time you become a teenager, your best buds with a wheelchair because your legs won't be able to support you anymore. While your mates might be working part-time at the burger shop, you'd be working full-time with your therapist and doctors to help your muscles get stronger. Primary Biliary Cholangitis, PBC So, let's say your liver is a bustling city, and the bile ducts are like the highways that keep everything moving smoothly. However, one day you wake up feeling as tired as someone on a 24-hour shift for a week. Not only do you feel very tired, but you also start itching like a dog that has a flea. And to make matters worse, your skin suddenly has a yellow tint to it, like someone signed you up for the role of a human banana without your consent. 
Well, you suddenly feel as tired as a sloth on sleeping pills and look like a character from The Simpsons because your immune system, which is supposed to protect you, gets a bit confused and starts attacking the bile ducts in your liver. It's like your body's own traffic cops causing a jam instead of fixing it. You see, the bile in your liver helps digest fats and get rid of toxins. So when the bile ducts are damaged, the bile can't flow properly and starts to build up in the liver. Think of it as a clogged drain in your liver city. Over time, this bile bile buildup can cause liver cells to get damaged, scarred, and worn out. This condition has no cure, but the symptoms can be managed with medication, a balanced diet without greasy burgers or sugary soda, and regular exercise. Strumple lorraine Syndrome Strumple lorraine Syndrome, also known as hereditary spastic paraplegia, is like having overzealous bouncers in your spinal cord. Now, instead of the bouncers concentrating on just keeping the troublemakers out, they would also start blocking all the messages trying to get to your legs, which would essentially cause your leg muscles to be extremely weak and stiff. This disorder is caused by a genetic abnormality in the long nerves of your spine and is passed down from parents to children. It's like a family recipe, but instead of passing down grandma's secret cookie recipe, it's tight and stiff muscles. This abnormality damages the neurons controlling muscle tone and movement in your lower body, meaning walking, sitting, or standing becomes harder than learning a new language in one day. It's like trying to walk with super tight rubber bands wrapped around your legs. Definitely not a walk in the park. Sometimes you'd even experience a total lack of sensation in your legs and feet. There is no cure for this condition, so you will always need to be supported with a wheelchair or walking aid for the rest of your life. Kreutzfeld Jakob disease. So basically, your brain is like your body's central processing unit. It's smart, fast, and pretty much runs the whole show. Now imagine if a pesky little virus sneaks into this central unit. It's like inviting a raccoon into your kitchen. It will start causing so much damage that eventually your brain won't be able to live up to its responsibilities anymore. And this is exactly what happens with Kreutzfeld Jakob disease. So your body usually makes this protein called prions, which are supposed to be helpful, but sometimes these prions go rogue, like that friend who turns every party into a disaster. They start folding and twisting into weird shapes, and suddenly they're convincing all the other good proteins in your brain to join their rogue dance-off, and eventually you'll start to experience all sorts of crazy symptoms. The first symptom of CJD is the constant forgetfulness. You'll forget your name, your mother's name, and even what you had for breakfast. As the condition progresses, you'll also become excessively grumpy and angry at times. It's like you've turned into the Grinch, but without the heartwarming ending. Soon you won't be able to walk properly or even perform simple tasks like sitting or standing. Basically, the infectious prions are literally staging a coup on all of your brain cells and turning you into a shadow of your old self. Many slip into a coma within just a year of getting diagnosed, and because there is currently no cure for the condition yet, the mortality rate is always fatal. Tay-Sachs disease your body relies on genes for all sorts of functions, and a particular gene known as the hexagene is like the factory supervisor who ensures that everything runs smoothly. Kind of like the head chef in a busy kitchen, making sure nothing gets overcooked or undercooked. However, if you have Tay-Sachs disease, the hexagene is basically like the chef who left the stove on and went on vacation. It means trash and unwanted enzymes pile up in your brain, causing the whole system to malfunction. Tay-Sachs is a genetic disorder, which means it's passed down from the parents. If both parents carry the faulty hexagene, there's a 25% chance their child will have Tay-Sachs. It's like playing a genetic lottery, but with really bad odds. This condition usually starts during the first three to six months of a baby's life, and the first visible symptoms are red spots in the baby's eyes and loss of motor skills, so crawling and walking would become mission impossible. Eventually, it would progress to paralysis, blindness, deafness, and an abnormal growth in the head size. Right now, there is no cure for this condition, but medication to control the seizures, proper nutrition and hydration, and feeding tubes can be used to create a better quality of life for the affected individuals. Neiman Pick Disease Neiman Pick disease is like your body's recycling program gone terribly wrong and starts gathering and storing fat in various organs. 
Picture your cells as little hoarders, but instead of collecting knickknacks, they're stockpiling unwanted lipids and cholesterol. And the condition comes in three different flavors, type A, B, and C. Plus, the level of damage you get is totally dependent on which type you draw in this genetic lottery. Type A is the most severe and starts a few months after the baby is born. At birth, the baby might look healthy, like tiny superheroes ready to conquer the world. But soon, they start to show signs of an enlarged liver and spleen. They won't learn to do anything normal babies do, and the condition progresses to the point where they can't sleep, swallow, eat, see, or hear. It's like they've been hit with the world's worst version of baby jet lag. There is also the problem that their immune system would be on a permanent vacation, making them prone to all sorts of infections, with recurring pneumonia as the main character. It's like their bodies have a kick-me sign taped to their back. If you have type B or C of this condition, then you have a better chance of living a fairly normal life, or at least as normal as it gets with Neiman Pick disease because the symptoms do not show up until much later. You would experience difficulty in moving your eyes, trouble walking, and severe problems with coordination and intellectual function. It's like your brain and body are trying to navigate through a never-ending maze with faulty GPS.